<laughs> All right, Wolfpack, so I'm making you do something you're not supposed to do, which is look directly at a solar eclipse. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I hope I didn't blind anybody right now. Uh, so we could not, uh, we, we forgot that there was going to be an eclipse, therefore we did not go and get the glasses you're supposed to get for an eclipse. John, where are you going? I'm going to see the eclipse. <laughs> so uh, we had to construct, we had to go back to our like, uh, third grade science class and construct a <laughs> eclipse viewer. So we built one. How's it working, Sammy? It's working pretty well. Right now, there's a shadow it's passing. Did you so. ruin everything? No, it was really bright before you came to film me. Sure. Is it working? It's really, yeah, it's really hard to see on the camera. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. That's getting real bright. So yeah, if you look into the sun while it's happening, it will be burned into your eyes like it's burned into mine right now. Because <laughs> I thought, I could just probably look and then look away, even though every piece of literature says do not do that. It's now burned into my eyes. It's like a little Cheshire Cat smile. I like that. John, can you take this? Take the, take the viewer, John. <laughs> Bree! What? Are you going to come look at this thing with us? Yes. We're going on the roof, Bree. Come on, we're going on the roof. Keep looking at Stop looking at the sun. Oh, it's Keep so looking bright. At it. it looks like it's smiling. Yeah. So, up on the roof, because it's a proven fact that if you're closer to the sun, you can see it better. Oh, there's no step there. Yeah, I didn't realize there was no step. There as crazy as it is, that's it's pretty neat that you can just kind of punch a hole in a box and then be able to see the sun through it that way. Um, it's kind of fantasy of just going to the beach and finding glasses there, but all the like eclipse glasses in Los Angeles seem to have been um, taken by people who planned further ahead than we did. So in our echo based third grade <laughs> science class. What do you think? Hey, Professor Noe, what did we well, what did we get on our... What happens is that the sun comes through the hole, right? And sure. you're just looking at the tiny little little dot representing the actual phase of the eclipse there. And eventually uh -huh. it's going to completely eclipse and then you'll just have a ring instead of like a circle. It'll just be like a, like a, like a spaghetti. Like dough. a ring of fire? Yeah. Toast. Did you see this, Brie? Yes. Brie is unimpressed by the solar gymnastics. Because of the clouds, what? I just <laughs> closed the <laughs> I totally saw it though for a second. <laughs> oh, I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't care. Yeah, because it. because the clouds are just diffusing it. Just oh, you can see it. It's the clouds though. For a second, I have like eight of them in my face right now. You see it? That's awesome. You can totally see it through the camera right now. Oh, cool. I can, yeah, I can see it if I if you like kind of uh, look in the camera. Yeah, look at the look camera. At <laughs> look at that. Oh well. Uh, Silly box. Yeah. If you, you kind of cover your eyes. It's so cool. Oh, yeah. And shade it, you can see it. If you kind of squint. I'm just going to look through my camera. This is way better than. Oh my gosh! Oh, you can totally see it in real life right yeah. now. <laughs> Whoa! That's so oh, rad! Where's oh, my camera? You don't need it, you can see it with real life. That's crazy. Where's my, why is it so easy to see right now? The clouds? Probably. Yeah, the clouds are, are working as a diffuser. That's so badass. And it, it, on camera, it looks not nearly as cool as it does in real life, guys. I'm sorry. It looks so, it looks enormous. Wow. Yeah, we gotta zoom in that block. It's, it's zoomed. It's all zoomed. What if I just go a little further over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just cut that extra 10 feet out. <laughs> It looks so cool though. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like such a science nerd. I'm so, I get so excited about this. <laughs> what are you doing, John? What is this? I made a little pinhole iPhone camera guy. How's it working for you? It's got like a. Oh, wow. It's like a little telescope. Yeah. It's like a little telescope. The, the viewfinder. It was not being used. Yeah, you broke our box, man. You gotta pay for that. <laughs> Dramatically decreased the iris here. It's just like the 
the little pinhole guy does so um, less light will come through and uh, it should be able to get a better better shot of it in, in theory and uh, you know I, iPhone photography theory yeah. it's back now it really looks like a smile oh, so how is it how did it turn yeah, it's not a total guy it's like a semi guy Drunk. Like we got a drunk moon situation going on. Come on, moon, get it together. Drunk moon. Oh, it looks very. It's coming back. Here we go. It's back. It's Jason's oh, pet squirrel. Just, that is yeah. Jason's pet squirrel just jumping. The dog is not happy about the eclipse. What's up, squirrel? Oh man, this is squirrel. Back to the eclipse. That would have been a great like squirrel insert. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> bum. So that was the eclipse. Uh, it was really cool. Um, I hope that if you guys were not on the west coast, um, that gave you a little taste of what you could have seen. If you were here, uh, Sam, you're in the frame, just so you oh, know. I didn't you actually are on the vlog also. <laughs> I didn't know. So what for this those is of you who vlog. don't know who this is, uh, this is Sammy G. Hello. Um, she is an artist and a Instagram photographer. I don't know what, what, how should I introduce you? Why do you have to? She's, she's one of my bestest friends. Aww. She's great. Um, and she came to visit for a few days, so she's gonna be in my vlogs for the next couple days, so Sammy, say hi to everybody. Hi. Everybody, say hi to Sammy. Very nice, I hope you enjoyed the <laughs> eclipse and uh, I totally geeked out about it. So uh, leave me your thoughts on eclipses and solar events in the comments. And until I see you next, be brilliant.